Welcome back to uh, Let's Duel, Minor Magic Duel of Champions. We're playing against uh, Skrek T here, and we are using our uh, kind of sweep attack focused uh, Farias deck here. And uh, I think we'll keep our starting hand here. Not really going to be able to do anything on the first turn here. Okay, so uh, Hangman Tree, not a uh, significant problem for us here. So I'm going to just put our Demented out on the field. Maybe hurt it a bit uh, uh, with the Demented. Uh, just going to uh, increase our might here. And end the turn. So unfortunately, we do have the uh, Altar of Destruction as a uh, as uh, just a little bit of extra damage to him. We'll do our best to to keep a hold of that there. Uh, Plague Skeleton is a little bit of a problem, but it is uh, Mita 2, so our Fear 3 on our Lurker in the Dark. Uh, we'll keep that in check. Uh, we'll just do some uh, straight damage to the uh, to the tree there. Next turn, like we see the uh, Lilum come out. Managed to do some uh, damage dire directly here. Um, those Plague Skeletons are going to be a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, what I'm going to do, however, is... Play the Lilum. I'm gonna play it in the uh, the back row here, rather than uh, take the two poison counters. And we'll just increase might here. So in doing so, uh, we've, we've put the one uh, poison can on the Lilum. He does have the capacity, though, to, uh, uh, to kill that Lilum now uh, next turn. But what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use uh, Farias' ability to give uh, sweep attack to our Lilum. That'll let us kill both Plague Skeletons. Uh, it would be pointless to uh, throw away our uh, Lurker in the dark. I'm just going to move it out of the way. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Um, that's the way it goes. Okay, so now we can uh, have a little bit of fun here. We can deal with that uh, putrid Lamasu. And uh, we'll do that using the... Uh, I was going to say, with the uh, Hellfire Maniac. But that won't really seal the deal.
Uh, I guess it's the only way we can pull it off. So we'll do a Hellfire Maniac. Uh, we'll increase our magic here. Um, we'll see how this works out. Hellfire Maniac's gonna die, but we might be able to uh, frenzy to kill it. It's not really a very nice trade, so. Okay, well that's certainly what I've wanted to uh wanted to see. Let's increase our magic here. Now I could throw both frenzies out here, but I don't think uh, it'd be worth it. We're just going to use the uh, Albedo Ghoul to kill the uh, future Glamazoo. Uh, we'll play our Hellfire Slave. And since we're not really going to ever be able to do anything about that agony, I'm just going to take this opportunity to do some direct damage to uh, to his hero. One of his uh, soul reapers out. Now we got ourselves a little bit of a, a problem here. Increase our destiny. Go play the uh, breeder mother. We'll increase the uh, health for our maniac coming into play. Well, oh, that doesn't really do much for us gonna infect it with uh, with that should have uh, put fiery death on it done a little bit of extra damage eh. rewinding the breeder mother not a, a huge deal Let's see how we can play this. If I give that sweep attack. Boost its attack for four. And I wonder, this will be a good opportunity to test. Will we double area blast? Uh, 
No. Gonna take five damage here, but we'll uh, still hold uh, hold our position, and we've uh, uh, crippled some of his units here. We'll be able to take the Albedo Ghoul out with uh, Frenzy, and we'll play definitely play the Void Wraith. Uh, so we'll start just by killing off that uh, Albedo Ghoul. Get the uh, Void Wraith out. The uh, Breeder Mother out here. And uh, we'll just increase our destiny one more, and that'll let us play those Gated Demons and Chaos Raft. Okay, so we're uh, running ourselves into a, a fair bit of problems. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, really carry this forward here. And we're not going to be able to do this with the help of a, a meager uh, gated beam here. Uh, da, da, da. We'll put a uh, gated beam in this row. Draw a card. So it looks like he's got us here. All right. Well, it was unfortunate that uh, that round played out that way, but uh, I think uh, we just lost due to. Uh, his uh, better deck construction there it worked out quite well for him. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you uh, join me in the next episode.